What's up guys, ABC Matt here and bring you another video. Today I'm going to this estate sale right here and uh, we're going to see what we can find. Um, the pictures didn't look too impressive but uh, this week is incredibly hot. It's in the 100 degrees and this is the only estate sale that's open early in the morning at 8 a.m. So uh, we'll see what we can find if anything. But I appreciate you watching and I hope you like and subscribe as I reach to a thousand. Again, welcome to my channel. I'm ABC Matt and I go to yard sales slash garage sales, estate sales, find undervalued items in southern platforms like eBay, Poshmark, what have you. So guys, again, the weather is brutal. Check out these, these numbers for this week. I mean, these are numbers that we're not accustomed to. So this estate sale was one of the only estate sales that actually opened early due to the weather conditions. So going back to the picking now, I saw these uh, Marilyn Monroe stuff. I knew some of them had value. I didn't know if all of them did. So what I did was I grabbed all of them, hold them for a little bit, and then comp them out later when I'm in a room with less people. But I want to make sure I get grab them first. Now, after grabbing them, my next objective was seeing through the pictures. There was a few vinyl records so I wanted to hit that next after putting these away and there was a guy over there looking at CDs so I was like alright while you're looking at CDs I'm gonna look at the records and uh, let's see what he says uh, I don't know actually honestly I don't know how they're doing it it looks heavy if you had a sold sticker it would have helped Again, I apologize you looking at my legs and stuff. I don't know what it is, but every time they have vinyl records in a estate sale, they always put it on the bottom where you have to crouch down and, and to reach them. Not necessarily. Worth waiting, hopefully. Yeah. So he asked me if I got all the good ones. I mean, I got a decent amount. I'm not sure on a few, so maybe those were good ones as well. But uh, I'm glad he didn't make a big stink out of it. So again, when you look at records, try to find those oddball-looking covers. Sometimes those oddball covers actually are worth money. In this case, these first two that I picked up, they are a little bit oddballish and uh, actually they were worth some money. They're not really the genre that I'm familiar with, but after doing the comps, I'm like, wow, more than a, a usual standard record that I pick up uh, in terms of market value. After doing the comps, there was two of them that wasn't worth that much, so I put it back again. So now I'm taking a look at the cassettes that he was looking at. Didn't see much there. And everything else in the surrounding area, in this living area, I didn't see anything. Way too many people in the washing and dryer section. So I'm, I'm moving along to one of the bedrooms here. I didn't see much in clothing wise. I didn't see much in the Chotskys. So going back to the weather. Will you guys source in hot weather like this where it's a hundred something degrees? Now this one I'm thankful they started early, but in terms of estate sales, will you wait until 10 or 11 a.m. just for the thing to start if it's a hundred degree weather? Or if you're doing garage sales, are you hitting a lot of them during the hot weather? Are you, you think that those people are doing the garage sales are out there in the open in, in, in that kind of condition? Let me know. For me, um, because I don't have a car to uh, 
drive every to every garage sales. I don't think I would go in that 100 degree weather. Frankly, I was prepared to push out my videos uh, one week later uh, because of it. But estate sales is kind of iffy because you are indoors. It depends which estate sale company it is and the property they have. Yeah. This one, again, I'm thankful it started at 8 a.m. So at least I get out there about, you know, 8.39 and then be done with it. And I could go back to my cave in the home. Um, but let me know what you guys would do in that kind of weather conditions. So this place has a lot of cookbooks. Now, books is not my strong suit nor cooking books frankly uh, yeah, i did so a couple a cookbooks it took a little bit of time but eventually it did sell these didn't look like they were worth that much money um so i didn't pick them up and again i forgot to bring my black light because there's a few of these glass i was wondering if they were uranium glow or not but i forgot to bring it i, I gotta remember to bring my black light uh, but other other than that the glass if I, if I had to get guess, they were not worth that much, only for the fact of how they would display and how they were priced. <laughs> yeah, there's more down there. Oh, okay. So this place is weird. Normally when you do estate sales, you're just selling off the things in the, the house. But I never saw a estate sale that actually selling all the appliances as well. Yeah, I should have picked up this rooster, but I didn't because I have like things of that nature that hasn't sold yet. So I, I was reluctant to pick those up. These other glassware stuff, I, I didn't see much. It didn't seem that impressive either. So there was a few Hello Kitty items. This one in particular is a Hello Kitty waffle maker. But I think they were asking 35 and it's going for 35. So there's no profit to be made on this. I'm just checking the comps just to make sure. That's why I remember it being at in terms of price. And sure enough, yeah, about $35 for the Hello Kitty. So the asking price, there's no wiggle room for profit. So I didn't even bother. But Hello Kitty does sell uh, they they do pretty well for me but nothing else in the kitchen for what I see so I'm gonna see on this little patio area which people are not really paying attention to so maybe I could find something here but I didn't so I'm gonna check the the little rooms uh, on this floor as well Now, if you guys are looking for furniture, again, you know, estate sales are probably the best bet for like mid-century, especially uh, in my neck of the woods. Uh, they don't make furniture like this anymore, you know. Uh, I feel like the, the old time furniture has more personality. Now all the mainstream furniture, they all kind of look the same. But uh, I'm not here for furniture, but if you are, my neck of the woods probably has uh, good furniture for you.
little more Hello Kitty stuff, but it's more like paper products that doesn't sell. So put those down. Then you got these little Chotskis here, but I didn't see anything that really wowed me there as well. Then you have the, these cat little pillow things. They probably uh, has some value to it, but it was dusty as hell. I didn't want to clean those. And then um, someone was occupying the book area. I saw on the on the pictures that they had like a Wizard of Odds one that was intriguing, but she probably took it already. Um, so I didn't bother looking at it because she's pro she looked like she's going to be there for a while. Find anything? Uh, a couple of things so far. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? Yeah, a couple yeah. of things here and there. Nice. I thought I was going to come empty-handed, but not that bad. Oh, okay. While I was chit-chatting with her, I saw one book on the shelf. I wanted to just uh, comp it out to see how much it goes for. Uh, and it, it doesn't go for much, so I didn't even bother. So I saw this Pannington beer and uh, it looked intriguing. So I went, I picked it up and did take a look at it. But um, looking at the comps for it, it doesn't go for much. Um, it, was, it was less than I thought it would be based on the, the product it, it has on, on the tag. So this room looks like it's the room I'm gonna camp out at just to comp out all these stuff that I have in my bag. Normally when I go to estate sales, I try to find a, a room that nobody's really in. So that way I'm not in anyone's way while I'm trying to comp things out. Now when I'm comping it out, there was one Marilyn Monroe book that wasn't worth the money they were charging. I think they were charging like 15 for it and it goes for about 15. So I put that down. One regret I did made was picking up one of the calendars. The calendars were not much of a profit, but I, I picked it up because I saw it wrong. And uh, it's one of those things that you do, but um, it's not too much of a ding on my back. Now this other book that I picked up, this one is surprised me on the comp value for it. Uh, it's first printing, which is good, but not all first printings are worth money. But this one has some value to it, so I did pick it up. Hi, how are you? Good. Yeah? Your t-shirt, I have a sign that says, keep calm and blame the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I love these shirts, man. How's everything with you? Pretty good. Yeah? How are you doing? All right, holding up. Holding up, staying, hanging in there. <laughs> See you later. So I'm back where the entrance is. There's a few uh, CDs here, not worth that much. Uh, the books were not that impressive. Uh, underneath, though, there was some more records over there. So I was looking through those records underneath there. A little bit awkward because the guy's looking at other books on the side. But um, I, I didn't see anything on the records side, nor did I see anything on the books that he was looking at. So um, pretty much that's the end of the, of the video and the estate sale. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I'm close to a thousand, like I said earlier, trying to shoot for that. I think I'm like 120 to 20 subscribers away. So if you guys could get me there, it'd be great. And I'm going to give away a Rolo printer. In terms of viewing hours, I think I'm like 500 viewing hours left to get monetized as well. Um, so close to the finish line but not there yet uh, but I appreciate all the subscribers and all the viewers that watch my videos you know I do this every uh, weekend and um, I wish I could do more but I can't but because I have a day job but everyone who do watch my videos I appreciate it so enough with the mushy stuff this is what I picked up 
you had the Sweet Dreams, Eurythmics. Then you had a couple of vinyl records I wasn't familiar with, but I knew that they had some value to it based on the cover art and when I did do the comps. Then we have Michael Jackson, everyone knows Michael Jackson. Then we gravitate more to the 80s, which I'm more familiar with, like Flock of Seagulls and Pat Benatar. Then we go into the Marilyn Monroe stuff. There was a paperback. Um, I think they were asking $2. I, I could make some money off of this. Then we have the regret and picking up the calendars. The calendars has no sold comps. I did find some comparables on the buy side. Then we have a couple of Life magazines. Those have some value to it. And then the big item will probably be this hardcover book. Uh, so it, it kind of surprised me uh, on the value on it. But I appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to show you the comps and I hope you watch my videos coming uh, thereafter.